This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, Anderson bought two boxes to clean out his office after shutting down his business. The first box has a square base with each side measuring 10 units and is six units high. The second box is rectangular and has twice the volume of the square box. If the height of the second box is eight units and its width is 10 units, what is the length of the second box? So for this question, you're going to have to know how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism, which is the same thing as a box. In fact, we're going to have to do it twice, once for the square box and once for the rectangular box. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, so you do have to commit these basic formulas to memory at some point. Volume of a rectangular prism or a box is length times width times height. And as I said, we're going to need that formula for both of these boxes. Let's calculate the volume of the first box. We know it has a square base, so that means its length and its width are going to be the same value. We know its base is going to be 10 by 10, and it has a height of 6. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 6 is 600. So its volume is 600 uh, cubic units. What's more, we know the second box has twice the volume of the square box. So this value here is going to be twice this value here. 600 times 2, you should be able to do mentally, it's going to be 1,200. So the volume of this rectangular box is 1,200. We are going to be determining its length, so we'll leave that as L. Its width, according to the problem, is 10 units, and its height is 8 units. So this becomes 1,200 equals uh, 10 times 8 is 80, so this is going to be 80 L. Let's go ahead and solve for L by dividing both sides of the equation by 80. This crosses out leaving us with L over here. We can cross out these corresponding zeros. This becomes 120 divided by eight. And again, if you can't do that mentally, you could always uh, do the long division like I'm about to do. Eight goes into 12 one time without going over. Eight times one is eight. 12 minus eight, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's gonna be four. Drop down this zero. Eight times Five is exactly 40 with no remainder. So we can see the length of this rectangular box is B, 15 units.